Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the past year paper of Feb March 2020 paper Pure Mathematics 3. So in this part, we will be discussing the questions 3, 4 and 5. So let's start. So question number 3 is by sketching a suitable pair of graph show that the equation sec x is equal to 2 minus half x has exactly one root in the interval 0 to pi by 2. So we know the graph of these two left hand side is sec x and the graph of sec x is uh, graph of sec x looks like this. Let me draw it. This is the axis and we know if it is let's say pi by 2 pi and all and it is 1 so the graph of sec x will be like this there is a asymptote at this place so pi it is pi by 2 it is pi by 2 pi by 2 at pi by 2 sec x will be infinite why because cos pi by 2 cos pi by 2 is 0 so it means this will be x is equal to pi by 2 will be asymptote that's why they haven't given the interval as 0 to is equal to 1 by 2 pi so now this will be the graph of sec x so so i will take the one here and let's say this is pi by 2 and this is 0 this is x axis and this is y axis y is y is equal to sec x in this case so the graph will look like this and this is the graph of sec x and the next graph will be y is equal to 2 minus half x so we can see from here the y intercept is 2 y intercept is 2 so this is 2 somewhere here and the gradient is minus 1 by 2 minus 1 rise is minus 1 run is 2 so it will look like something of this form and hence we can see that there are only one roots we can find so there is only one root and that is what this one I hope it is clear so let's do the B part of it B part is verify by calculation that this root lies between 0 and point, 0 0.5, 0 0.8 and 1. So we know that sec x is equal to 2 minus 1 by 2 x which can be written as y like I can, I can write it as sec x minus 2 plus 1 by 2 x is equal to 0. So in order to find the uh, root we will take the polynomial let's take it as y is equal to sec x minus 2 plus 1 over 2 x and we can we could have taken it as f of x then it would be easy to put the value now we will check for f of 0 0.8 and f of 1 if their symbol if their sign are different if their sign are different then we can directly say that root lies between 0 0.8 and 1 so let's calculate this with the help of calculator so f of 0 0.8 is coming minus 0 0.1646 and so on so we will write 0 0.165 and f of 1 is it is 0. 3508 and that is 3.351 and since f of 0.8 is negative and f of 1 is positive so we can say the root lies between 0.8 and 1 I hope it is clear so let's do the C part C part is use the iterative formula f uh, x n plus 1 is equal to cosine inverse of 2 over 4 minus x n to determine the root correct to two decimal places. Give the result 
of each iteration to four decimal places. So we will start with a fixed value between zero because we know that root is between 0 0.8 and 1. So we will take any value of xn. So let's take for instance x naught is equal to uh, 0 0.9. So x1 will be cos inverse of 2 over 4 minus 0 0.9 and that is 0 0.8695. Six. So it is 0 0.8696 and hence x2 will be cos inverse 2 upon 4 minus x1 and that is 0 0.8777 and hence x3 will be cos inverse of 2 over 4 minus x2 and it is going to be 0 0.8756 that is 0 0.8756 and the next one because we can see this is not correct to two decimal places yet so x4 will be we can calculate from calculator this is, that is going to be 0 0.8761 and next one will be 0 x5 is going to be 0 0.87599 that is going to be 6. So we can say the root root correct correct to 2 dp is going to be is 0. 8, 8 because the third place is 6 more than 5 so it would be 0 0.88 correct to two decimal places. I hope that is clear. Find the integration of zero, one, pi by 6 to pi by 3 x sec square x dx give your answer in simplified exact form. We are going to do the integration by part and we know it is going to be first let's say it is first function and this is second function so integration by part is first function as it is into the integration of second function and it is tan x and this limit we will put limit pi by 6 to pi by 3 minus integration of differentiation of first function is 1 into the integration of second function and that would be tan x dx. and the limit will be pi by 6 to pi by 3 and hence it can be solved. So let's solve this part only or we'll put here pi by 3 into tan pi by 3 is tan pi by 3 is root 3 minus pi by 6 into tan pi by 3 is 1 over 3 root 3 minus now it is tan x. So integration for integration of tan x we will find the we will rewrite it as pi by 6 to pi by 3 sin x over cos x dx. Now we will do the substitution let us say u is equal to cos x this will give you du is equal to minus sin x dx. And hence this integration become of the form f dash x upon fx dx and hence this would be ln modulus f of x. I hope it is clear now. So we can rewrite it as pi over 3 common it is root 3 root 3 minus 1 upon 2 root Three. I have taken pi by 3 common and hence now it become this plus because we have to take minus sin x and it become ln modulus cos x and the limits pi by 6 to pi by 3 
it become pi by 3 into we can take the LCM it is 2 root 3 into 2 into 3 6 minus 1 5 plus ln pi by 3 pi by 3 is ln cos pi by 3 sorry ln cos pi by 3 is 1 by 2 minus ln cos pi by 6 cos pi by 6 is root 3 by 2 so since we have to give the answer till the uh, in the exact form so we will only write it as let's say 5 pi over 6 root 3 plus ln minus will give you the division so it become 1 over root 3 so this is the which can be written as since it is root 3 I will rationalize it it is it become root 3 over root 3 that is 3 and here it is 5 root 3 so 5 pi root 3 over 6 3 is 18 plus it is 1 over root 3 so root 3 to the power minus half so it will be 1 upon 2 ln 3 so this can be the simplified form and hence it is the answer I hope it is clear next part is fifth a show that cos 3x over sin x plus sin 3x over cos x is equal to 2 cot 2x so we can do in several methods I'll take it as I'll take the denominator I'll take the LCM of the denominators and we can take it as sin x into cos x and then cross multiply we'll get cos 3x into cos x plus sin 3x into sin x now we can see actually we are solving left hand side now we can see that numerator is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b which is cos a minus b and hence it would be cos 3x minus x over sin x cos x. Now we can multiply and divide by 2 so that we get the denominator as sin 2x and it become 2 times cos 2x over sin 2x and hence it become 2 times cot 2x and this is the right hand side it was easy I hope and you got it let's do the B hence solve hence solve the equation this so we already know now this left hand side is 2 times cot 2x and hence it become 2 times cot 2x is equal to 4 or you can say cot we can say cot 2x is equal to 2 or tan x tan 2x you know that cot 2x is 1 over tan 2x so tan 2x will be 1 over 2 here and hence 2x will be tangent inverse of 1 by 2 which is 0.46 3 6 that is 0 0.464 radian and so the next angle will be pi plus 2x next angle is pi plus the pre previous angle so 0 0.464 plus pi is equal to 3.605 so it is 3.606 radian now we can see now we have to check because we have started with 2x so we will check for 2x 2x is going to be 0 between 0 and 2 pi so we have to calculate for the value till we get the value more than 3.142 so the next value will be pi plus previous angle that is 3.606 plus pi and that is going to be 6.747 which is more than more than 2 times 3.142 so which is not acceptable so the solution for this uh, this equation is going to be 2x is equal to 0 
which will give you x is equal to 0 0.232 and the next one is 2x is equal to 3.606 which will give x is equal to 1.8 zero three which is approximately one point eight zero radian so these two are the solution for this equation i hope it is clear so thank you for watching